During a mass casualty incident, emergency medical services, or EMS, plays a crucial role in not only providing medical care to the injured, but also in ensuring the safety of the emergency personnel operating at the scene, the safety of members of the community and protecting against organizational risks. The Federal Emergency Management Agency developed the NIMS. National Incident Management System and identifies these five steps as part of the Structured Risk Management Assessment in the Incident Command System. This is the gold standard for all public agencies around the United States. The five steps of the risk management process are identify if risk potential exists, assess for risk potential, prioritize risks to address first, determine and implement a plan of action, Evaluate and revise your actions. Identifying risk exposure involves looking for operational risks. Risks to the community and organizational risks. Identifying these five risks is a crucial part of your structured risk management assessment. Everyone is responsible for doing a task-specific structured risk management assessment at any emergency incident. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. Notify the incident commander as soon as possible so he or she can make an informed decision quickly. EMS is in a unique position to obtain additional information not immediately available to police or fire personnel as they are working to mitigate the emergency incident. When EMS is triaging or treating patients, we have more time to ask questions, a closer rapport with the patients, and are better poised to obtain clues, thus giving us the ability to take a look at the larger picture from a different perspective. All, important information for the incident commander. This is an excellent example of the crucial role of EMS in ensuring the safety of emergency personnel in a mass casualty incident scene. EMS personnel can provide triage, treatment, and transportation to the injured, but their role extends beyond just treating patients. EMS plays an important role in the management of the emergency incident, from beginning to end, often arriving at an emergency incident before any other first responder agency. EMS also provides medical support to other responders who may become injured during the response. This is the role of the Rapid Intervention Team, often referred to as RIT. This is one of the most important roles at any emergency scene and one that you must plan to designate early on at any emergency incident. This helps to ensure that all responders are able to continue working to mitigate the original emergency incident and to provide care to those in need. Having an injured member, police, fire or EMS, can be a huge distraction to the other members operating at the scene. It can also lower the community's perception of organizational competency to help the community in the first place. EMS is also responsible for coordinating the safe and efficient transport of patients from the scene to hospitals. This involves coordinating with other emergency responders to ensure that patients are transported to the appropriate hospital, based on their injuries, triage categories and area hospitals' capabilities. It is important to call the command hospital first with the initial triage counts and obtain hospital bed availability for those victims that will be transported from the emergency scene. We do this to make sure one hospital does not become overwhelmed and unable to care for critical patients. Follow your department or EMS region protocols. EMS personnel also work to ensure the safety of all responders at the scene by providing situational awareness and implementing safety protocols. This includes ensuring the appropriate agency establishes a perimeter around the scene to prevent further injuries and controlling access to the area to ensure that only authorized personnel are allowed on site. This helps to keep other members of the community safe and to help prevent having additional victims that could further exhaust your resources. This also includes requesting those additional resources needed to ensure the safety of the members operating at the scene and the safety of the community as well. Oncoming traffic can be a real hazard to anyone in or around the emergency scene. Utilizing fire trucks or ambulances to block and shield emergency responders operating at the scene should be one of your initial steps. Next, requesting police to control or redirect traffic thus making sure all first responders are operating at a safe zone and victims are kept safe from additional hazards. 
EMS personnel must use communication devices to relay critical information about the situation to other responders, such as the location of hazards or the number of patients requiring transport. As well as the locations of triage treatment and staging areas these need to be set up at the earliest stage of the incident. Ideally by the first arriving EMS company officer and communicated to all first responders operating at the scene. The first arriving EMS company officer should designate an EMS tactical radio channel as soon as possible. Early communication with other responding units should include the following information, the exact location of the incident, the type of incident encountered, an initial number of victims, this can be an initial estimate, which can later be amended after triage is complete. Making a request early on for extra or additional resources. That may be needed at the scene will ensure the emergency incident is handled smoothly. Setting up staging in the very early phase of the incident ensures no one gets trapped at the scene. Making sure everyone has a clear means of ingress and egress from the scene. Finally, making an initial scene survey to identify potential risk exposure hazards. Operational, community and organizational, to other first responders coming into the scene and promptly communicating those via dispatch radio, so that all incoming units can be aware. These are some examples of the crucial role of EMS in ensuring the safety of emergency personnel in a mass casualty incident. In conclusion, EMS plays a critical role in ensuring the safety of emergency personnel operating at the scene of a mass casualty incident. Their expertise and quick actions during a mass casualty incident can save countless lives and ensure a more efficient response while boosting the public's confidence in your department. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos, that is the best way to support our channel if there's a topic you'd like for us to cover or if you have any advice for other EMS officers out there, please let us know in the comments. Be safe out there.